And here I am worried about hosting my first event and getting people at my event. And I was like, well, I got more than 17. Shoot, I'm good now. I just saw a Kindle at the school. I'm like, hey, John Maxwell had 17. If I got 17 and a half, I'm, I'm cool. I was like, I'm good. I feel better now. But hearing that, that, that book found me for a reason, but he, he did, he discussed that. He wants people are going to put into the room because that's how you're going to get out. You can't just go there with like, I'm going to make a million connections and I'm going to get everybody to tell me about their friends and then ha ha ha, I'm going to run away. Like it, it, you can't have that mindset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The questions are going to be key. I, I think the people who do the best in life typically ask different questions because they're just thinking at a different level. Mm -hmm. And when you ask different questions, you can get a different result. Well, and the way you set the questions and where you're going with the questions helps too. It was something that as a young person, and I, I still am guilty of it because I'm not a nosy person. I struggle to ask the questions I should ask. I'm still working on it and learning because I feel nosy sometimes if you're asking questions, but it depends on the situation, but it's something that I'm learning to do better ask those questions because I'm a lot of times being asked questions with having multiple businesses people are constantly asking me stuff and it's an easy habit to fall into of just answering not just asking 